riding against the speakers, playing with his ass, his boots, going into the air, all the time projecting a peculiar mix of showmanship, control, and aloofness. It was like Blackmore was showing off, but mostly for himself, hovering on the edge of electric narcissism. At the same time, he was so on cool, it was just impossible to look away. I'm, I'm ready to go <laughs> to the advantage of being first. <laughs> These guys could play, they could improvise, they were in constant and curious cup club competition with each other to take the music someplace new, someplace unknown, and never ever the same place twice. Fast forward 12 hours later to the local mom and pop record store where I was dressed in anything and everything by Deep Purple and was promptly handed fireball out. My life, my life has basically changed forever. With almost no exceptions, every hard rock band in the last 40 years, including mine, traces its lineage back to regular Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin, and Deep Purple. Concerned, these three bands should always be considered equals for their songwriting, their recordings, and their accomplishments. Where I grew up, and in the rest of the world outside of North America, all were equal in stature and influence. So in my heart, and I know I speak for many of my fellow musicians and millions of perfect fans, when I confess that I am somewhat bewildered that they are so late in getting in the rock and roll hall of fame. Decades after the mighty Sabbath and the brilliant uh, Zeppelin, 19. this is of course no disrespect to those bands or the rock hall. I just have to make sure the deep purple rock as we hear everywhere else in the world. Deep purple became big the old fashioned way. They were hard, constant touring, making an album a year, sometimes two. Never giving a shit about image or critical acclaim. And in the golden age of rock and roll debauchery, they were known primarily for their music. In the sex and drug sense, they were reportedly gentlemen who went through. In fact, in fact, if you must dig, the main dirt on Deep Purple was the revolving door of personnel. Ten different fan members in the first seven years, 14 in total. Let me, of course, give a well-deserved shout-out to everyone else who's played a part in the story, including the three other inductees tonight. I saw two of them in the live debuts when Deep Purple came back to Copenhagen in December 1973, right? Singer David Coverdale. <laughs> David Coverdale blew me away with his unique bluesy pipes and the quirky mic stand. What the hell is that? Um, and bassist Glenn Hughes, white sound. <laughs> bassist Glenn Hughes, white satin suit, way cool rocker here to go with his R&B influenced vocals. And last, but actually first, original singer Rod Evans was the voice of the former singer in the late 1960s and on the first hit single of Crush. So from the eight inductees tonight to the 14 members, band members who have played in this band, it's obvious that great music often comes from tension and what great music it was. The albums, just to name a few. The Book of Taliesin, In Rock, Fire, Machine Head, Strong And with phenomenal songs, just to name a few. Rain That Neck, Black Knight, Speed King, Child in Time, Strange Kind of Woman, Highway Star, 
miles of evidence on the importance of this reading. Incredible. I would also like to offer my sincere congratulations to all past and present members of the club. My incredible musical mentor, Richie Blackmore. Particularly, I particularly very much miss Tommy Baldwin, and unfortunately, a more from the world. I'd like to particularly thank all the fans of Deep Purple around the world who not only keep the music alive of the, of the band, but continue to support all the Russian bands as well. My thanks also extend to the wonderful musicians of my band, White Snake. John Payne, my friend and lawyer, Glenn Davis, my promoters, Gary Barr, and Rodham Sweet, and my exceptional tour manager, Gideon Holden. I'm so honored to have you here tonight, my friend and co-producer for almost 30 years, Michael McIntyre, my dear friend and personal assistant, the lovely Christy Lee, and last but not least, my amazing, incredible family. My beautiful children, Jasper and Jessica, and the most inspiring person in my life, my beautiful and beloved wife, Cindy. I love you. 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 I love Thank you. 